So, uh, coming back to your question, um, something that I wish I would have done, and I think all of you can have this chance to do it, is uh, much like some of the other people, I spent tens of thousands, I think one company has spent $30,000, and this is for education. And I came out with one house back uh, just after the, the dot com, or the dot house boom. Um, so I didn't have a whole lot to go off of. And I was not interested at all when I first was recommended to uh, hear a panel. And so, and, and trying to convince my wife, that's a whole other story. Um, the reason why we even went to the meeting in the first place is it was good friends that said, hey, look, you've had some social experience in real estate. You should, you should go to this. Your friends, okay, we'll go. Amazing opportunity. It took a couple of weeks, but once, once we were on board and we got that, it was within those time frames, I think. Within 90 days, we were investing in Florida, is where we were at. Um, we had certain criteria that we had, like we were involved in a property uh, years and years before that it didn't cash flow, we were depending on appreciation. And that was the criteria, and that was right on board with what Strongbook was doing. You don't get a property unless the cash flows. Uh, so we got on board with that, waited a couple months. We found some additional money through some home equity line of credit with our own house that we have here in Utah. And so we took that money and we bought another home in Memphis. Now the house in Memphis was awesome. It, uh, we were presented a deal and the, the dollar amounts worked. It was about $350 in cash flow a month. I was going to use that personally, so this is affecting me personally. Um, I'm in a job I don't really like, I don't really care for, um, so I'm wanting to get a master's program. And so I'm in that master's program. So that property is actually helping me pay those student loans. Nice. But uh, when we actually closed, um, and for better for worse, better for me, I guess, was um, the appraisal came in a lot lower than what, than what was. They sold the property to me anyways. So instead of $350 in cash flow every month, it's $500. Wow. So it's just this <laughs> awesome deal that I'm just saying. Like, it's just a sweet Yay. deal. So I think um, if I could have avoided that first real estate, that 30000 because to me, knowing the real estate was interesting. I love school, I love doing that. But knowing my personality, I'm not that go-getter that can go out, knock on 200 doors to find a foreclosure property that I can personally buy. It wasn't my personality. And now that I realize what my personality is, let these guys kind of do the heavy work, and me just to go in there and just and just sign the paperwork. That was <laughs> yes. and those are up, you know, that's a lot of paperwork. Yes. So for me, that was my style. I mean, you have to really read your clients and really know what their style is. I could have avoided a lot of a lot of years and a lot of money that I could have put back in 